Hey, how's it going? Thanks for coming to the channel. Thanks for watching the video. Long hair, don't care. Please subscribe, like the video. Um, there will be more videos to come. I'm only getting started. I only have one other video. Um, I started a YouTube channel when I first started growing my hair out. Um, I'm, I actually I just made this journey to 11 months. So I'm at 11 months. Next month will be a year for me. So be uh, be on the lookout for that for that video. Uh, might do a, a, a slideshow or something, you know, from then and now. But I started a channel when I first started, and the channel was hacked. Well, not the channel, but my G my Gmail was hacked or something. And without the Gmail, I couldn't get into YouTube. So yeah, I think after uh, three months, I got my first braids. After three months, I made a video about that. Um, you know, but it's whatever. I'm here now. Um, here to show you, show y'all some videos, give y'all some nice tips, advice, whatever you need. That's what I'm here for, and other YouTubers. So, um, right now I'm making a video. This is my. Uh, I've been. I wanted to do a three week new growth video because I wanted to show you the progress of then and now, as far as when I first got these in and right before I take them out. So I decided to keep these in for three weeks. And, um, you know, this is what they were looking like when I first got them done, you know. If you notice, I didn't have any facial hair either. I didn't have any facial hair. I cut everything off. My well, facial hair was by accident. I was shaving and I messed up, so I just shaved it all off. So it grow back even. Um, and then you can see I have parts you know, when I first got them done, you know, I don't have hardly, you can't see really any parts because all the hair is grown in. So this right here, if you see all of that, that hair growing in from that, from the scalp, that's all new growth. You know, this is all new growth. So all that extra hair you're seeing that's coming out of the part from here to where my other finger is, that's all new growth. So in three weeks, three weeks, my hair has grown. I don't know, what is that? Maybe an inch. My hair has grown about an inch in three weeks. You can do that too, don't worry. I'll show you back. This is what the back is looking like. Yeah. They, they've shriveled up. Um, from when I first got them done, you know, I think the first, after like the first three or four days, I put a do-rag on and I don't know, I think I was sweating, sweating a lot that night. And when I woke up, they was, they were shrunk up, you know, they were coming down more, but whatever. Um, but it, I mean, yeah, so you, you can, your hair can grow. Everyone's hair grows different though. So, you know, don't just believe me or someone when they says your hair can grow this fast in a month you can grow three inches like come on you know that's not rational thinking but if you take the right steps you do you 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 know you supply the right products to your hair you take the right steps you eat drink a lot of water of course your hair will grow to its best potential that's you're not trying to be just like me or like someone else you maybe can be better i don't know but you want to get your hair to grow to its best potential um so these are the products I use. Um, I recommend use both products. You're supposed to buy these. They go hand in hand together. This is the Wild Growth Hair Oil and this is the Light Oil Moisturizer. So what I do is every three days I use the hair oil and then three days, say if I use this today, Sunday, then Mon Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll be switching to this, then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you know, so go well together, the ingredients aren't the same. The first few are, but after that, the ingredients are different. You're supposed to use these together. I did not know that when I first started using these because someone that was doing my hair, my hair told me about, about these products. And I think I said something like, uh, she told me about the oil, but oh, this oil, it works real good. I'm like, oh yeah, she, oh, but, you know, I think I told her I don't like thick oils in my hair. 
and she was like, oh, well, they have a light version for the for the ones, the, you know, people that don't like the thicker, they have light. So me thinking that this was just a light-based product, I didn't realize that it that wasn't the case. It was just a light oil moisturizer. So I was only using this one for months. And I found out that it's not actually like a lighter version. It's just a moisturizer. You're supposed to use both. So... If you're gonna use these, use both. I guarantee you will see good results. Um, and other people, you know, other YouTubers have said the same thing. These are real great products. And it's not just because they're popular. I act, I actually use them because the ingredients in them are natural. If you can't understand the ingredients, you probably shouldn't be buying that product. And that goes for any oil, any moisturizer, conditioner, shampoo, you know, anything. If you can't really understand the ingredients, you should not be buying the products. I went to the beauty store. Oh, that sounds weird, but you know, because you got to go to the beauty store to get these. I went to the, to, the hair, to the hair store. I think I read the ingredients on almost every single product in the store. And I'm telling you all right now that most of those products have the same ingredients. So you think you're spending more for this great product or you're spending less to get this or you think this is better. I'm telling you most when they're not organic, they all have the same ingredients. So you're spending more money for the same stuff and it's damaging your hair. If you can't understand what you're putting in your hair and your body, you should probably shouldn't be buying it like this. These have co coconut oil, olive, castor, Jojoba, Roman, pumpkin, black, carrot, grape seed, you know, just to name a few, dirty sage, peppermint, iron, you know, so if you can't understand or read those products or you, you don't know what they are, you shouldn't be buying them. Like some have alcohol or clozer enzyme and stuff like that. You don't want to put that stuff in your hair. That's all poison. You don't need that stuff. That's probably why your hair isn't growing. So also make sure you're putting good Good, good food. I, you know, I can't stress enough about that. Put good food in your body. I've actually been eating vegan for for about a couple months now. For about two months, I've been eating vegan, and the results have been great for me as far as how I'm feeling, my body. My body. Um, I lost a lot of fat, and my hair is growing faster as it ever have because those things that we put in our body is actually the things, the gas, the fuel, the oil to keep our body pumping, to make things like our hair grow, to keep our skin healthy, you know, stuff like that. So when you're putting bad stuff in your body, that could be another thing that's stunning your hair growth. Um, be mindful about what you're putting in your body. I'm telling you, if you eat better, your hair will grow a lot better. You will see better results. You will feel a lot better. When you're growing your hair out, don't be discouraged. Don't, you know, because you don't think your hair is growing. Your hair is growing. If you don't pay attention, if you don't pay mind to that, the fact that you're watching your hair grow is going to grow. It's going to grow anyways, but the more you watch it, it's going to feel like it's slower. It's growing. So even, you know, like when you're, you're, playing, you're outside and you're trying to watch it, it's like watching grass grow. If you don't pay pay mind to the grass and you like a month or two later, you go out and say, man, that grass is growing a lot. Then it's the same with your hair. Just don't be trying to, it's like watching grass grow. So, you know, stop doing all of that. Yeah. So pretty much just make sure you're, make sure you are um, applying the right um, things to your hair. I'm telling you, they, these, these certain uh companies sell you these products and the products are going to damage your hair this is what they do they sell you the the, the product uh, moisturizer or you know conditioner like or you know daily whatever you start putting this stuff in your hair as time goes by your hair starts getting damaged your ends start getting you know you get damaged ends um you see a lot of breakage, you, you know, your hair isn't growing. So now what you're going to go do, you think this product is helping you. Now you're going to go buy the other products they sell, the hair repair, the hair damage. See, they, it's a, you know, that's all business. Make sure you're applying these products the right way also. Don't focus on the outer parts of your hair. Like, the you want to focus on the scalp, you know, the hair that, this is where your hair grows from. You can see, you can see the roots coming out of your scalp. So <clears throat> it's just like 
you don't really want to focus when you're trying to get hair, more hair growth. You don't want to focus on, <clears throat> you just keep this part of your hair moisturized. This hair is already grown. Out. So for an example, that's that's all you know you apply and you can rub you can rub the the product through because you want to make sure it's on the scalp your hair is growing so um, another thing um when you're growing your hair out try to be try to find a stylist that you can stick with i know sometimes you have to go through a few bad bunches to find the the right one for you and not necessarily even calling the stylist bad i'm on better better words not everyone it's different <clears throat> so someone might be good for this person might not be good for you or just might not be as good for your hair your hair might reject that person their hands you know you have to think stylists do a lot of heads a day so but they're still going through a lot of different heads all the time so just try to find a stylist you can stick with because your hair will get used to the way that person is styling your hair and then if you go to someone else then they're you know going against what your hair is already trained to do in the direction so now your hair is stressing that's how you get breakage damaged hair thin hair you want to keep the you want to keep your hair going in the uh, train way it's going so keep that in mind um you know um oh and clipping ends i i don't i don't think you know I, i'm not gonna do that for my own reasons, you know, a lot of people say when you trim your edges or whatever, it helps your hair grow. But remember, your hair is growing from here. This is the base, the root. Your hair doesn't grow. This is already out. So if I clip this, all I've done was take length off of my hair. My hair is growing from here. Um, but a lot of people say, well, when you tr clip this, your hair is more, I mean, whatever you want to believe, um, I'm just here to give you my, my advice and my tips. So you can believe whoever you want. So this is only 11 months. So, I mean, you know, you think about who you want to listen to. Like I say, all our hair grows different, but if you take care of your hair, you can get your hair to grow to, to your hair's best potential. So. Thanks for watching, you know, please subscribe, like the video. I appreciate you watching.